This weather in this lake is how horror movies start. We're gonna die. When we lived in California, like 40 minutes from the beach, for years, this one's been saying, We should get a boat! We should get a boat! But like a little dinghy, rowboat, anything. And I'm like, ah, we'll just go rent one at the harbor when we need one. And we did it like, what, twice? Maybe once. Yeah. And so, for her birthday in December, which is a long let time ago. Let me just say this. I've been saying this for like 20 years. Okay, 20 years. Hasn't been 20, she's exaggerating. So for her birthday, I'm like, fine, I'll buy you a boat. Just like a starter, a beginner baby boat, right? And it was like winter and it's like too cold. It's so like, we'll get one when summer starts. So finally, now that it's, what month is it, June? We finally got a, we got, I got her, well, Kaylin's got that boat. dan has got a stand-up paddle board. Kaylin got a stand-up paddle board. An inflatable, which is, I researched this a lot because Kaylin wanted a stand-up paddle board last year when we started our adventure and she used it all summer, last summer. Yeah, she did. Inflatable. Especially when we were staying at Bear Lake. And so I got Leela this one. Years upon years upon years. I mean, how many years, Trevor? All the years. And this is our training boat. If we really dig it, maybe we'll buy one with a motor someday. But. Right now, this is perfect right out here. What do you think? It's actually really pretty right here. No, are you kidding? I'm just giddy right now just to be out. And this is like perfect. And I don't need a motor right now. And really good. I, I got a motor. What do you think? Do we make the right call? And should you have a boat when you're RVing? Doing the RV life? What do you think? I don't know why you pause so much to say it like that. Oh, almost For know. dramatic effect. Where are we going? We're going on the coast someplace and I can't remember where we're going, but I've already been out in the boat several times and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. And that's like we've had it for a week, sort of been out. We haven't even had it a week. Not even a week. We're, you. we're using it. That's a thing. But we're going to go to the coast today and check it out. And then we're going to take it with us. We're going to California, to Zions, into Utah, and then we're going into Bear Lake, and who knows from there what adventures will happen. We're gonna do like a, a nice long road trip coming up soon, probably, possibly right after this video. We'll uh, we might already be on by the time you see this one. So follow us at Life Untethered on the Instagram. Oh my gosh, his dramatic. Follow us. Okay, let's go. She mocks me. I'm a professional voice actor. Follow us at lifeuntethered.com. Yeah, nobody cares. She said nobody cares. Do you care? Tell me if you care. Want to the lake? No, I want a boat. You don't want the boat? I want Yes or no on boat? Yeah, boat. Yeah. <laughs> see, see that? I think, I think I did that. And that's not that big a deal, but uh, let me. Leland and I were doing our normal backup routine into that, that space right there. I'm driving, we're on the phone, she yells at me, I yell back, and I don't know what she was saying, but her little crunch, and I think I might have hit the gas even a little more after the crunch, and this, this was the result right there. What is, what does one of those cost? They, they probably shouldn't let me drive. Well, Jones, we got your boat, and we came to a nice place to Fly it. To fly it? But it's... it's you don't fly boats. You're, you're, you're dreaming of droning. Oh, I'm gonna do that in a second. Wanna see? Here, look at this. When choosing a boat for RV travel, we don't have a lot of experience because we've only owned a boat for a week. But turns out that if you go to the ocean, it's a little bit brutal. And today's not really a sit in a kayak day. Except that we are near a lake as well, so we may have launched that thing in the lake today. I gotta be honest with you. I don't like flying the drone when Leela's around because it stresses her out and I actually attribute every time I've crashed a drone to Leela causing me anxiety and making me lose control and do things I normally wouldn't do. So I've sent Leela back to the truck and I'm going to fly my drone here and it should be successful since she's not here. Just sitting here the whole time, no issues, no stress, no crashes, no rescues, just my little drone. Look at this driftwood, it's amazing. Come here, little drone. This is Leela's boat, but for this voyage, we're bringing Leela's doppelganger. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna bring uh, this, which is probably a bad idea, and this, which is no big deal. But this, if that falls in, that, that would be bad. But we're gonna go out there to that lake. It's called Eel Lake. I hope it has real eels. What are you hoping for? Uh, piranhas. Per probably piranhas. 
Kaylin's experienced, so she's just gonna like shove off fully clothed in 57 degree weather, no problem. We'll follow her with this thing. Hey, I gotta, we need a name for this thing. It's, Larry. it's Leela's, it's Leela's and Ash wants to call it Larry. What do you think? I think that's a terrible name. You got a name for this yellow thing right here? Different boats are made for different things and I don't know jack about boats. This one's made for having your pregnant daughter paddle it, I think, <laughs> even on cloudy days. And that boat's made for Kaylin to learn how to paddleboard. Ashlyn said, this feels a little oceany. Are we connected to the ocean? There's only one way to tell. Fresh, we're not connected to the ocean. Unless we're draining at the ocean over that waterfall. Would it be dumb to try to fly my drone from here? What do you, what do you, would that be dumb? The answer is yes. But we're just gonna do it anyway. I mean, you know, it's, that last flight was so successful that, you know, you can't end the day on a good note. This is probably a bad idea. I'm trying to hold my GoPro while I fly my drone out of my pregnant daughter's hands while I keep Kaylin over there away from the edge of the waterfall. Here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Like a quick. I'm not gonna be able to catch that. We did it! Here's what I've learned with now my vast experience on our first real boat ever. I mean, this is, you know, the first boat we've had over a $39 Walmart blow-up special. Number one, paddling sucks. I really want a boat with an engine. That'd be great. Number two, when you're out on a lake when it looks like this, you know, all overcasty and cold and miserable, you really want a boat that you can get all the way inside of and batten down all the hatches because every time she paddles like that, she drips water on me and that's just not pleasant. So uh, my advice, if you're an RVer wanting to get a boat, get one with a motor and hatches to batten down like a submarine or something. But you also gotta be able to fit it in the back of your recreational vehicle. And because we have a toy hauler, we can deflate these and fit them in the back of a Volkswagen Bug if we wanted to. There's dead people in the lake. So let's look, I'm gonna put the camera down and see. Seen that footage yet? Were there any? Did you see any bodies? I'm barely getting a handle on RV life. Not sure if I'm ready for boat life quite, quite yet. Did you like the boat, tiny human? She's having a great time, clearly. <laughs> <laughs>